Hey everyone, welcome to Mobile Merchant. Today I'm going to show you guys an absolute money making game changer, automation. Automation completely redefines the way you make money. You can do whatever you want and still accumulate wealth. For instance, you can go to work or you can go to school and after a long hard day, you can come home happy knowing that you've earned some extra cash that can be sent straight into your wallet. You can go to sleep soundly because you know that when you wake up in the morning, you'll be a little bit richer than you were when you went to bed the night before. Or you can do nothing. You can literally sit down on your couch and watch TV all day and you will still make money. Trust me, once you try out automation, you'll never want to go back. But before I continue, if you want awesome money making videos showing you how to massively grow your income online, remember to subscribe to the Mobile Merchant YouTube channel. Now, in order for you to successfully set up your automation, you're first going to need a rooted Android device. This is an absolute must, guys. If you don't know how to root your device, I recommend that you visit the XDA developers forums, which I will link to in the description, and search for a guide on how to root your specific model. I've used this website many times in the past. They have some incredibly helpful and well-written guides. And if you're using an iOS device, unfortunately, for this guide, you're going to need to get your hands on an Android smartphone. Later on, if I manage to obtain a jailbroken Apple device, I'll make an automation tutorial specifically for iOS, so keep an eye out for that. So, once you have a rooted Android device, you're going to want to install a pair of applications. FREP, which you can see here, and Tasker, which is right next to it. These two applications do cost some money to install, but believe me, they are absolutely worth the investment. You can easily make back the money you spent after you set up your automated money making. Now I'm first going to show you guys FREP. Before we go any further though, I want to make sure you have the same settings as I do. So I'm going to go through each page so that you can compare your settings to mine. Feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast. So essentially what this app allows you to do is record your touches and button presses and play them back exactly as you recorded it. This is incredibly useful if you need to do something really repetitive, such as pressing a button over and over, or opening and closing an application to reset it. There are just so many possibilities here, and you can be as creative as you'd like when you're making your recordings. Now, if you go into Manage Traces, you can see all of your previous recordings. So, as you can see, I've made quite a few recordings myself that I use for different purposes. Now let me show you how to create a recording. So exit to the home screen and then let's close out of FREP and pull down on your notifications bar and finally tap on this FREP banner to show the console. And that will appear in the top left corner of your screen. Now hold down on the console and pull to the right and then you can scroll up and down until you find record or rec and there'll be like a giant red circle beneath it. And whenever you press the red circle, it will begin your recording. So for example, if you wanted to create a recording that can reset an application, you'll first want to go to your starting point. So let's say I wanted to reset Rewardable, which I showed you guys in my last video. So let me go to the top trending GIFs and then I'll go back, oops, I'll go back and select record. Now I will. And then you press the record button and then you do all the touches that you want. So let's say I want to reset it. So I'll go to the home screen and then I'll open up the task switcher and I'll close out of Rewardable and then I'll open it back up and finally, after it loads, I will tap on the top trending GIFs. Now, to stop your recording, you just turn off the screen and then turn it back on. And then you can see in the top here, it has the name of your recording. In this case, it's just generic number eight. And then you want to press on always and then press on save. 
Now to test your recording, open up the console again, and then select your recording. So I'm going to select number eight. Uh, that's weird to have two number eights. Strange, okay, but I think this is the one. So then you press the play button, and then you can see your recording in action. So in this instance, it'll close out Rewardable, as we did, and then it'll open the app back up, and then it should tap on the top trending GIFs. And once your recording is on play, you can see on the bottom, it said finished. Now, it's great that you're able to create recordings that do exactly what you want them to do, but you need to be able to tell your phone when you want to activate your recordings. So this is where Tasker comes into play. So let's open up Tasker. This application is powerful because you can tell your phone the conditions that need to be met before your FREP recording is played. It allows you to create profiles which pair your conditions to the task that you set up. So for example here, you can see whenever my device boots up, that's the condition, it will play this task called Rewardable Boot. And at 11.03 p.m. every night, it will restart my device, and so on. Such as when the display's off, it will turn it back on and restart Rewardable. Now, in order to create your first profile, press the plus button on the bottom right corner. Now, choose a category that matches the condition you want. For example, let's say I want my prep recording to play when I unlock my phone. So I'll press on Event, and then Display, and finally, Display Unlocked. Now press the back button on the top left, after I close out of the console. So press this back button here, and then it will ask you to either use one of your previous tasks that you've created or create a new task. So in this case, I'll press new task and then I'll give my recording or my task, sorry, a good name. So let's just call this rewardable reset. You want to know exactly what it does. So just make it as descriptive as possible. Then just press on this check mark. Now let's say I want my phone to wait for 5 seconds after I unlock my device and then play my recording. So I'll tap on the plus button on the bottom to add an action. And then I'll tap on task and then wait. Now I'll move the slider here under seconds so that it goes to 5 seconds. Then I'll go back and I'll press on the plus button again to add another action. So for this case, I'll go into plugin and then I'll tap on FREP shortcut and then I'll tap on the pencil here in the top right to select the recording I want. In this case, I'll want to choose number eight for rewardable. Now press the back button twice to go back to the profiles page. You can see that the profile, Display Unlocked, is now linked to the rewardable reset task I created, and we can test it out to make sure it works. So I'll exit out of Tasker, and then I'll unlock my screen. And after 5 seconds, the FREP recording should start playing. So you can see there, it's now playing, and it's going to close out of Tasker, or whatever application I have open at the moment and then it will tap on Rewardable TV, and after it loads, it should tap on the top trending GIFs. So there you go, just as I told it to. There are so many different conditions and actions to choose from in Tasker that I can't go through all of them in this video, but I recommend that you look through them and choose whichever set of conditions and actions that fit your specific needs when automating your money-making applications. So that just about wraps up my tutorial on setting up automation on your Android devices. Now that you have a basic understanding of the process of automation, you're well on your way to making money anywhere 24-7, even while doing absolutely nothing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and be sure to subscribe to the Mobile Merchant YouTube channel for more tips on maximizing your income online. 
and if you'd like to see an iOS version of automation, let me know in the comments section below.